friends today we are going to discuss the chapter cell from the class 9 so now we are going to explain what is cell and what are the various types of cell how the composition of cells varies from a simple cell to a complex cells and what are the various organs present in the cell now the first we start with as we know the cell is known as the structural and the functional unit of life now the simple statement of the chapter that structural and functional how the cell is called structural and functional unit of life we call it the structural unit of life because the cell is actually going to make the whole structure of an organism it's a building block of an organism so that is why we call it a structural unit of life because cell is the smallest part usi cell ko mila ke pura ka pura organism jab banta hai to jo simple single cell hai hum use structural unit ka naam dete hain now why we call it a functional unit of life for this you can write it on the functional unit of life because the cell performs all the functions all those functions that are performed by an organism to wo sare kaam ek cell karega jo ek organism aage karne wala hai yani ki agar cell wo sab kaam karega tabhi sare organism bhi wohi hoga tabhi organism mein bhi wohi sare kaam kiye jayenge matlab cell takes food to organism also takes food cell do the excretion cell do the transportation cell has cell divides so the animal reproduce so there are so many functions that a cell performs and those cell functions are again performed by the organisms as a whole so that is why we call it a cell as a structural and functional unit of life ab cell mein hum hum ek hum jis tarah ek ghar banane ke liye ek ek brick laga ke pure ghar ki deewar ko khada karte hain to isi tarah ek ek cell jab combine karta hai then it makes a tissue and that tissue combines to form a organ and the organ many organs together combines to form an organ system और बहुत सारे ऑर्गन सिस्टम जब एक ऑर्गेनिज्म की बॉडी में होते हैं तो हम उसे बोल देते हैं ऑर्गेनिज्म तो सिंपल सी कहानी है कि जब आप एक ईट लगाते हो तो एक दीवार बनती है जब आप बहुत सारी दीवारें बनाते हो तो एक रूम बनता है जब आप बहुत सारे रूम बनाते हो तो एक घर बनता है तो वी कैन सिंपली रिलेट दिस एग्जाम्पल विथ सेल नाउ वी कम टू द स्टडी ऑफ सेल इज कॉल्ड वॉट स्टडी ऑफ सेल इज कॉल्ड साइटोलॉजी ये क्वेश्चन कभी कभी हमसे पूछ लिया जाता है वैसे एन में इसके बारे में कुछ जिक्र नहीं किया गया बट यू शुड नो दैट वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू रीड इन द नाइन्थ क्लास इज सेल सो यू आर डूइंग अ साइटोलॉजी यू आर लर्निंग अ साइटोलॉजी तो स्टडी ऑफ सेल इज कॉल्ड साइटोलॉजी एंड हाउ द डिस्कवरी ऑफ सेल हैपन्स द सेल द फर्स्ट सेल वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय द रॉबर्ट हुक इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव एंड ही डिस्कवर्ड दैट सेल अंडर अ सेल्फ डिजाइन द माइक्रोस्कोप दैट द माइक्रोस्कोप वॉज वेरी वेरी सिंपल एंड इट वॉज मेड बाय हिम इट सेल्फ he the in the cork or the bark of the tree he discovered that cell in the cork you know that the hum uh, bottle wine bottles ke upar ek wooden cap laga rehta hai usi ko hum cork bolte hain and that cork or a bark of tree that is a dead part of the tree usse usme usne us cell ko dhoonda tha so he discovered the first non living cell actually the non living cell because bark of the tree is all the dead tissue तो उसको वहाँ पर नॉन लिविंग सेल दिखा अब सेल अगर नॉन लिविंग होगा तो उस सेल में ना तो साइटोप्लाज्म होता है ना न्यूक्लियस होता है खाली सेल होगा द इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टोर्ड इन द बुक माइक्रोग्राफी आई यू वॉन्ट टू रीड दिस बुक यू दिल गेट एवरी इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द डिस्कवरी ऑफ सेल वॉज रिटन बाई हिम इन दिस माइक्रोग्राफी आर नेम्ड बुक ना ऑन व्यू इन द कॉक अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप ही ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑल द सेल आर ऑल देर आर सो मेनी ब्लॉक्स जब उसने सेल को देखा कर द सेल्स वॉज लाइक अनी कॉम स्ट्रक्चर इट वॉज लाइक दिस तो उसने देखा कि सारी जगह खाली जगह है एंड दैट एम टी स्पेस इज बाउंडेड बाई वेरियस वॉल्स देर आर सो मेनी वॉल्स और बाउंड्रीज दैट बाउंड एंड एरिया सो एक हनी कॉम जैसा एक स्ट्रक्चर दिखाई दिया उसको एंड दिस सिंगल ब्लॉक एक ब्लॉक को उसने एक हाउस या एक सेल का नाम दे दिया सेल का मतलब ही होता है एक चैम्बर एक हाउस एक रूम खाली जगह को बोलते हैं हम जो बाउंडेड होती है दीवारों से तो हमने उसकी सेल की डिस्कवरी में जो इम्पोर्टेंट डिस्कवरी है वो ये है कि रॉबर्ट हुक ने नॉन लिविंग सेल को डिस्कवर किया इसकी इंफॉर्मेशन माइक्रोग्राफिया नाम की बुक में है एंड ऑन व्यू द कॉर्क एंड द माइक्रोस्कोप ही डिस्कवर सम एम टी स्पेसिस एंड दो एम टी स्पेसिस वॉर अगेन नेम्ड एज 
cell. So this is the all important information for the introduction of the chapter. There are so many more discoveries yet to be uh, uh, explained. So first you note down all this information and now we shift to the next topic, the next discovery. The living cell, who discovered the living cell of the living cell. So first living cell was discovered living cell was discovered by Anton von Leeuwen Hoppe. So this is the first living cell that was discovered by Anton von Leeuwen Hoppe and this Anton von Leeuwen Hoppe discovered this cell in the, in, the, uh, in the water and that cell was a sperm of an amphibian. An amphibian animal ka sperm paani ne mila, ye pehla living cell. Then who discovered the nucleus? Nucleus discovered kiya gaya Robert Brown. Nucleus was discovered by Robert Brown and then the protoplasm was discovered by J. E. Purkinje. So you have to remember all the names of these scientists because sometime in the exam we are going to ask you who discovered what and or we will give you the organ or the protoplasm or the nucleus and discover you ask you the name of the scientist. So you have to remember all these scientists names. Then we know the next last one is the cell theory. Cell theory was discovered by Sheridan and Schwann. Sheldon M. Schwann. He discovered the cell theory and he gave three points for this theory. The cell theory was explained in three points that all organisms are made of cell. Second, cell is the structural and functional unit of life. And the third one is new cells exist from the or new cell arises, sorry, new cell arises from the pre-existing cell. So CDC cell theory Sheldon or Schwann ne diya is ko is me ispe bataya bataya all organisms are made up of cell first. The cell is the structural and functional unit of life that every life, every living organism will be made up of cell and the cell is going to make the structure of that organism and the cell function performed by the cell will be performed by the organism. And the new cell is made up of the old cell. So this is what we call a Sheldon and Schwann theory or you can say it's a cell theory. Now we come to the size and shape of the cells. Now, what are the various shapes and size and uh, what are the different types of cells we have? Now the shape, the cell can appear in many shapes. It could be circular cell, it could be rectangular cell, rectangular cell, irregular shape, irregular shape. the WBCs, we have amoeba, paramecium, plant cells, all they are of different different shapes, the shape and the size. The size of the cell varies from a few nanometers, few nanometer, this new meter to millimeters. Like the smallest cell, we you write it down, the smallest cell we have is PPLO or you call it a Mycoplasma. सबसे छोटा cell हमारे पास ये वाला cell होता है और जो largest we can say the largest cell largest cell we have is ostrich cell ostrich egg and I'm talking about the largest cell largest cell is an ostrich egg and what about the longest there is a difference between largest and longest longest cell is the nerve cell so you have to remember these the smallest cell is a mycoplasma or a PPLO, a 
largest cell is an ostrich egg and the longest cell is a nerve cell. So this is all about the shape, various shapes and various sizes of the cell. Now we shift to the next topic that is the different type of organisms on the basis of cell. Types of organisms on the basis of cell. Simple. There are different type of organisms. Like if an organism is made up of one cell, we call it a unicellular organism. And if an organism is made up of many cells, we call it multicellular organism. You have to write down the difference between or the definitions of these two words unicellular organisms and multicellular organism. Unicellular organism means the cell, a cell is made of organism, we call it unicellular organism. Organism made of single cell are unicellular organisms. And the organism made up of many cells, made of many cells that work, jo ek saath work together in a coordinated manner. Usko hum multicellular organism kehte hain. But uh, coordinated manner are called Multicellular organism. Organism. So unicellular organism ka example hum kya lege? Sabse simple example humare paas bacteria. Sare bacteria are unicellular hoge. There are some protistas also like amoeba. Amoeba is unicellular organism. Hai. Paramecium is unicellular, unicellular organism. Hai. To ye sare organisms unicellular hai. Ek hi cell hota hai. Reproduce karte hai. Grow karte hai. Take nutrition and they die. Organism jo बहुत सारे सेल से मिलके बनते हैं और वो सब आपस में काम में दोबारा मिलके करते हैं वो ऐसे में हमारा सबसे अच्छा एग्जांपल हमारे पास आता है ह्यूमन का और यू कैन से मल्टी सेल देयर आर मेनी एंड लाइक देयर आर डॉग्स है कैट्स है एनी एनी ऑर्गेनिज्म यू टेक इन द दैट यू सी अराउंड योर सेल्स दे 